exploding. I played a game called Death by AI with my sister. Basically, the point is that you have to tell the AI how you would survive a deadly scenario, and it will give you a story telling you exactly what happened. So without further ado, let's get to the game. Create a game and invite your friends, up to 10 players. Choose a deadly scenario, i.e. you have fallen into a pit of snakes. Enter a strategy that you think will lead to your survival. The AI decides if your strategy is worthy of survival or death. The player with the least deaths after the five rounds wins. Oh, this is actually kind of funny. You're trapped in a burning building. Trapped in a burning building. <laughs> Your fate has been sealed. Dun dun dun! In the midst of an inferno, both players found themselves trapped in a burning building. Flames roared around them and the air was thick with smoke. Quickly assessing the situation, Troy's movies pulled out their phone and tried to call 911 for help. Nowhere to turn, they saw the walls closing in as not underscore Sammy, in a moment of panic, decided to make a run for the burning exit. The heat was unbearable and visibility was almost zero. All I typed was leave! <laughs> managed to relay their distress call to the emergency services, the fire intensified. Despite their heroic effort, not underscore Sammy stumbled and fell, succumbing to the smoke and flames before reaching the exit. Minutes felt like hours, but soon the call from Troy's movies paid off. Sirens wailed as the fire department arrived with Why is leaving not an acceptable answer? I don't know. It's what the AI Troy's thinks. Movies hung on, coughing and barely conscious I guess until the firefighters carried them out to safe and sound. In the end, Troy's movie survived. Hey, I, I survived! Oh, you get to pick the scenario this time. We are facing a charging rhinoceros. As the rhinoceros it should tell you what the other people type. Not underscore Sammy swiftly pulled out <laughs> 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 They fired the gun, but the rhino's thick skin absorbed the impact. What? It's a shotgun! <laughs> Not underscore Sammy tried to gritty away. Hey, yo! Too slow. What? And the rhino's horn <laughs> Meanwhile, Troy's movies attempted to dodge out of the way, but their reaction time was a fraction of a second too slow. The that sounds like a skill issue! Side, sending them tumbling to the ground. As they struggled to get back up, the rhino turned its attention to them, and with one swift motion, trampled them beneath its massive feet. In the end, only one player remained, and it was not, not underscore Sammy, who lay motionless on the ground, their shotgun still clutched in their hand. Troy's movies did not survive the rhino's brutal attack. In the end, not underscore Sammy survived. Yes! Wow! I pulled out a shotgun and green away. You are trapped in a kidnapper's basement. Okay. Troy's movies began to frantically search the dimly lit basement for a key to escape, their eyes scanning every nook and cranny. Meanwhile, not Sammy's hand slipped into their pocket, grasping for the AK-47. EXCUSE ME?! As Troy's movie approached the kidnapper's workbench, not underscore Sammy whipped out the rifle and pointed it at them. What?! But Troy's movies was too quick, dodging the initial shot and using the distraction to grab a nearby wrench. What?! They I was the trying to shoot the kidnapper! Sammy, striking them in the chest and momentarily stunning them. What's this need come a battle?! Troy's movies sprinted towards the door. But not underscore Sammy recovered quickly and fired. Why are we fighting? Are you the kidnapper? <laughs> no, I'm not. Not <laughs> underscore Sammy approached them, ready to deliver the final blow. But Troy's movies had one last trick up their sleeve. They used their free leg to kick not Sammy's gun, head, <coughs> causing them to drop the AK-47. In the ensuing <laughs> struggle, Troy's movies managed to grab the rifle and turn it on. Not underscore Sammy ended the threat. In the end, Troy's movies survived. They were threatening survived. you. I'll take what I can get! <laughs>
Bonus round. Survive to win three lives. You're in a gladiator match for your freedom. <coughs> like in ancient Rome. It's gotta be gladiator style. So I'm assuming we're gonna be fighting. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Your fate, fate has, has been, been sealed. <coughs> In the heart of the ancient Colosseum, two gladiators, Troy's movies and not underscore Sammy, stood facing each other, their eyes locked in a fierce stare. The crowd roared with anticipation as the two opponents circled each other, sizing each other up. Without warning, Troy's movies charged forward, wielding an imported Japanese machete with deadly precision, aiming straight for not Sammy's brain, but not underscore. Sammy was not one to back down. And with a sinister grin, they triggered a remote device. <laughs> what? Hurtling towards Troy's movie. <laughs> the machete sliced through the air, mere okay. inches from not Sammy's face. But before it could strike, the nuke detonated, sending <laughs> Troy's movies in a. Am I gonna lose this? Like the blast <laughs> sent Troy's movies flying across the arena, their body torn apart by the intense radiation. I just nuked settled, you. Not until Sammy emerged. <laughs> No! Short lived as the radiation from the nuke began to take its toll on their bodies. Oh! You are already dead! Are we both gonna not survive? In a final act of defiance, not underscore. Sammy tried to rise again, but it was. Oh, we're both gonna die. They collapsed, their bodies succumbing to the deadly radiation. In the end, not underscore Sammy survived. Wait, but you did not survive! <laughs> I guess you survived longer. I won. Cause I nuked you. <laughs> you are lost in a blizzard. I think I have a pretty simple survival strategy for this one. It's judging us. I think mine's gonna work. That's probably why I survived zero. You are lost in a blizzard. As the blizzard raged on, Troy's movies and Sammy trudged through the need of snow, <laughs> their visibility limited to just a few. Troy's movies, determined to find sustenance, began to hunt for food, scouring the area for any signs of wildlife. Meanwhile, Sammy, shivering with cold, focused on finding a house to take shelter in. After what seemed like an eternity, Sammy stumbled upon a small cabin partially buried in snow. They burst through the door, grateful for the warmth and respite from the storm. As Sammy warmed up by the <laughs> Troy's movies continued their hunt, eventually returning with a rabbit. But as they attempted to start a fire to cook their meal, a strong gust of wind extinguished the flames, leaving them shivering and hungry. Disheartened, Troy's movies pressed on, searching for signs of civilization, but the blinding snow made it impossible to navigate. Eventually, hypothermia set in, and Troy's movies collapsed. Body numb. No! Sammy, meanwhile, had managed to warm up and rest by the fire. As the storm began to subside, they ventured out, finding Troy's movies' lifeless body in the snow. With a heavy heart, Sammy realized they were the only survivor. In the end, Sammy survived. <laughs> I like Sorry. You wanna know you wanna know what I put? What you put? I put search for a house parentheses, which I was successful at, un parentheses and You could just put that. It, I thought it would I thought it would prevent you from putting which I was successful at. Prompt North Korea sent a nuke to your city. Um <laughs> Fate has been sealed. It's been sealed, baby. North Korea sent a nuke to your city. As the sirens blared and the warning systems alerted the city of the impending doom, Sammy sprinted towards the high-speed train that was ready to depart. They managed to jump aboard just as the doors were closing, and the train accelerated to its top speed of 999 miles per hour. <laughs> wow, that's fast. Past their face as they held on to dear life, hoping to outrun the I put how fast it was. Meanwhile, Troy's movies was frantically calling the U. <laughs> <laughs>
I survived a slightly bit longer than you. <laughs> a, a, sur a, a, if I beat you by two seconds of being alive, I survived <laughs> technically. I mean, I don't know how that was a win, but I'll take that as a win. While. I, I, I typed a long one. Survived to win two lives. You are the owner of a bank which is currently being robbed by armed thugs. <laughs> Name? Troy's movies, but it's showing up as Troy and hashtag 39 colon S movies. As the owner of the bank, Troy's <laughs> movies and Sammy were caught off guard by the armed thugs who stormed in, demanding cash and valuables. Troy's <laughs> movies, trying to take matters into their own hands, grabbed a firearm from the back and attacked the thugs. <laughs> Mm -hmm. However, they were quickly overwhelmed by the sheer number of robbers and were shot down in the ensuing firefight. Meanwhile, Sammy had a different plan in mind. They sent Troy's movies, an unsuspecting bystander, as bait to distract the thugs while they snuck up from behind. Oh, come on! The thugs moment. Wait, so you sent me in Troy's movies. when I was already gonna go in? The opportunity to strike. I was already going in. So your plan was just to shield off of me. <laughs> they found themselves surrounded. Yes. But Sammy had one last trick up their sleeve. They had been secretly calling the police during the commotion and just as I did not type lost, that. <laughs> the authorities burst in, guns blazing. I did not type to call the Thugs police. Were subdued and Sammy Heck, you can do whatever it says. In the end, Sammy survived. Yeah! Survive to win 3x life. Oh, so whoever wins this probably wins the whole thing. You have escaped the electric chair after co conviction of 86 murders, and now the entire US military is hunting you down. No. I wanted to make a dramatic end one. As Troy's moved, give each, made a break for the Canadian give each border, other dipper. They could hear the hum of military Wait, sh sh closing in. Give they each other dipper. Build a rocket ship and fly far, far away. Okay. Meanwhile, Sammy had a different plan in mind. Okay, it they worked. Been secretly building a rocket ship in an abandoned warehouse, and now was their chance to make a getaway. As Troy's movies trudged through the forest, they stumbled upon a small cabin where they took refuge. But it wasn't long before the military tracked them down, and a hail of bullets ripped through the cabin, killing Troy's movies. No! The VAA, on the other hand, had successfully launched their rocket ship into the sky. They soared above the chaos, watching as the military scrambled to keep up. But as they flew higher and higher, they failed to notice a heat-seeking missile locked onto their ship. What? <laughs> Are we both gonna die? Sammy's rocket ship plummeting back. They can't! In the end, Sammy... Survived. You survived, but they're probably gonna get you. Yay. You won by quite a bit. You desperately want to commit suicide, and I have to input a survival strategy. So I'm fighting myself. <laughs> okay. Um, but it was like so unrealistic, I didn't think it'd give it to me. 
I cannot write a story that promotes suicide. If you are someone... Well, by not talking about suicide, he just caused a genocide and killed both of us. <laughs> All right, we both died. It's September 11, 2001, you're aboard to plan this game. On board the air, work. a sense of impending doom filled the cabin as it drew perfectly close to the World Trade Center. Troy's movies believed their best chance of survival lay outside the plane. They rushed down the aisle and grabbed a parachute from the emergency storage. Struggling with the harness, they leaped out of the plane's emergency exit, hoping to skydive to safety. Unbeknownst to Troy's movies, the turbulence from the rapidly descending aircraft made controlling the parachute nearly impossible. The harsh winds threw them off course and tragically, they couldn't steer clear of the building, crashing into it upon descent. Meanwhile, Sammy, gripping their armrests in terror, decided on a more audacious approach. They shouted, I cast a spell. A desperate attempt to alter their fate with sheer willpower. However, the spare was a mere figment of fantasy providing no real protection. The plane hit the tower moments later, leaving no chance for survival. Hey, I survived! Oh, your spell doesn't work! You play a board game called Jumanji, teleporting you to a fantasy world where you can do anything, but if you die here, you die in real life. As Sammy and Troy's movies materialized in the fantasy world of Jumanji, they found themselves standing on a sprawling mystical chessboard. Sammy, with a cunning glint in their eye, realized that this was not just any ordinary game. It was a game of chess, and they were the pawns. They swiftly sent the rook after Troy's movies, hoping to gain an advantage. Meanwhile, Troy's movies conjured a magic wand and cast a fire spell, engulfing a nearby knight in flames. The knight, now a fear, fiery inferno, charged towards Sammy, who barely dodged the attack. However, the flames had also attracted the attention of a nearby dragon who swooped down to attack Troy's movies. The dragon's claws <laughs> raced across their chest and they fell to the ground defeated. Dang it! No! <laughs> The dragon turned the stud just heavy. They cleverly used their knowledge of chess to outsmart smart move the beast. They lured the dragon into the trap, using the rook to block his path and checkmating it with a clever combination of moves. Did you do the queen's gambit? <laughs> Did you do the queen's gambit? Ah. Uh, oh, you have to compete in the World Cup, but you know nothing about soccer. <sighs> um. All right, let's see. You have to compete in the World Cup, you don't know, soccer. Sammy and Troy's movies stood on the soccer field, staring at the referee in confusion. They had no idea how to play soccer, but they were determined to win the World Cup. Sammy, trying to think outside the box, attempted to get a yellow card by deliberately tripping over their own feet. Are you Max Foch? The referee, unimpressed, blew their whistle and handed Sammy a yellow card. But Sammy was not finished. They pulled out an Uno. You are Max. You're doing the Max Foch from the part and played it on the referee, causing the officially to stumble back in confusion. Meanwhile, Troy's movies had a more sinister plan in mind. They began to secretly meet with government officials of the hosting country, whispering sweet nothings of war and conquest in their ears. Before long, the hosting country was at war with its neighbors, and World War III had begun. The soccer match was indefinitely suspended, but Troy's movies' plan had an unexpected consequence. The war spread to the soccer field and Sammy was caught in the crossfire, struck by a stray missile and killed instantly. As the war raced on, Troy's movies tried to make a break for it, but they were caught by a group of angry soldiers and was sent the first spy. And Troy's movies was executed on the spot, their plan for global chaos ultimately leading to their own downfall. Wait, but how did you survive? You died, you, you, it says you were killed instantly. It says you were killed instantly. Right, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.